Oh hey, stopping by our post office to pick up mail for mail time is always a little scary. Oh baby. Three packages. Four packages. Oh my gosh, a key. Two more packages in here. Holy cow. Holy cow. I heard the screeching of a cart. I didn't even have to look up. I knew it was him. Hannah's a, oh, I've lost one package down. Package down. It's got a good sound. I, I think I'm gonna have to like leave you sitting where you're at and carefully like jigsaw puzzle the packages <laughs> around you or we're not gonna get them home. I'll allow it. How about how about I start with the little ones and you can toss the little ones in the back. Okay. And I don't know, we'll figure this out. We'll do it. Oh, uh, we got one from Big Bob. <laughs> and it's characteristically heavy. That one's from Michael. This one's from, looks like Canada, maybe. I don't know, I can't, Jamie. <laughs> the ones that aren't filled out the way we do them in the United States, I can't even figure out what they say. Uh, Tyler. Okay, that one, this one's worrying me. We got a letter from Nancy. I know Nancy, I know her username. This one's from Patrick. And it's about as big as the back of my car. I love, I, lo I love this Harley Davidson one. This one feels like Christmas. That's awesome. Uh, probably hold that one. Oh gosh. It's, big. it's heavy. How do you feel? Like Christmas. <laughs> we just parked the car and I saw next to the dumpster someone has brought it. I think a Walmart cart over here and I think I saw it. Yes! Oh, it's a fries cart. Well, this is highly convenient. We can just put all these boxes in a cart. Wheel them to our front door. Yay! This cart somehow doesn't seem big enough. It doesn't somehow. Well, the whole cart's full. Just one box. <laughs> that mail cart was really deep. Ooh, ASOS, I see you. Someone got some good shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's got Joanne tape. We got, yeah, we got a lot of interesting stuff. Joanne tape. Hmm. Holly Davidson wrapping paper. Hmm. Y'all are having fun. Amazon <laughs> package. Hmm. <laughs> Should we do an early unboxing? Oh, parking so, lot nail time? I, I, really, I just feel like it's probably gonna be a t-shirt and we need to just wait for the episode. So before we even get started, uh, thank you whoever sent this. I'll see if there's a name inside. All right, sometimes there's a custom order present note slip. A gift for you, enjoy your gift, Alice. Thought you'd like this for your future child from Nancy. Aww. <laughs> so this is interesting. I don't think we've ever been sent baby clothes. So no. we need to hurry up and make a child real quick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if not, maybe we'll just put it on pants. It's about right. What does it say? Love is waking my morning, waking my mommy up in the morning. Oh. <laughs> I think this is gonna be your size. Oh, this one's cute. Do you know what it says? I think that's something to the effect of I'm proof daddy does not play video games all the time. <laughs> well, 
I don't really know how to store clothing for future children, but I guess. Well, that was uh, more on the unique side for mail time starts. Now let's go. Uh, let's go open the rest of this. <laughs> All right, we have quite a bit to get through. First things first, Nancy, who sent the baby clothes, also sent us a card. Open those up and I will read this. Uh, Dear Hannah and Dallas, I am having Amazon send you each a package. It is part joke, part wishful future thinking. On my part, I have enclosed a small gift for each of you so you can purchase something you want. Being Scottish, I decided uh, I'm too Scott to pay for shipping and handling, but I keep finding things I want to send you. So I've figured out that Dallas is a September birthday, but I can't figure out Hannah's. When's your birthday? December 8th. December birthday. I will send a package on those days for Christmas. You are both priceless gifts in my life. Uh, love the new Minecraft channel. Patrick is so cute as a unicorn. <laughs> I will tell him you said so. All right, what's in these envelopes here? Just uh, <laughs> some dinner money. <laughs> well, she said we have to buy something nice we want, so you can go buy a Brad stall and I'll go buy Minecraft toys. <laughs> yours is labeled Minecraft Maniac, so that fits. <laughs> yeah, well, look at that. Minecraft Maniac, what was yours labeled? Hannah Warrior Princess. Very nice. <laughs> I can appreciate that. All right, well. Thank you so much. Top pocket. <laughs> All right, uh, well, thanks. Thanks for the baby clothes. We'll uh, get back to you on what we're going to do with those, because we don't have any. That's a conversation for another day. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Something from Michael from Washington. Let's just get on in there. Somehow. First slice and dice. I'm gonna slice right across the top. A. Nailed it. Wasn't Better. graceful, but you got it done. <laughs> well, now there's a box inside. And a note. Woo! All right, let's read the note first. Uh, spoiler alert, let's not read the note first. Ooh, let's open the box. Baby. Oh, okay. Wow. So, Pokemon stickers from the Pokemon Happy Meals. We'll save that for last because that feels right. Uh, <laughs> oh, very key nice. Chains. For the keychain collection. Uh, McDonald's Beyblade. You want a Beyblade inside of a box, real quick? Let's I'm orange, Hannah's it. blue. Three, two, one, go. Aw. <laughs> You're the worst Beyblader that ever lived. Uh, okay, very nice. Beyblade. That's awesome. That's one I don't have. Very certain of it. Very nice. Launchers for both. We could have a real real battle right now. And then boom. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Should we thumb through them? Ooh, that was nice. a saber's find, eh? Let's just, let's take a peek. Quick peek, Steve. This stuff is like the era that I played. I recognize what's on top. Oh yeah. I know all this. This is from when I was 12. That's awesome. I'll go through the rest of those soon. Uh, we were befuddled. I thought it was going to be ba actually baseball cards. Ooh. Very nice. Let me get another chunk. That's a pretty cardboard there. That's a nice size box too. It is. Ooh. Base set. Base set. Rocket. Team Rocket. Rocket. No way. There's a bunch of base set two stuff here. All right. Well. I will enjoy going through that later. Uh, I said on an episode recently about our second channel where we do a lot of Pokemon stuff. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it might actually be tomorrow's episode, but I, I, I have been saying a bunch lately about our other channel where we do Pokemon stuff. Literally, the only Pokemon cards I've been able to get are the ones you guys send me, which I'm not complaining, thank you, but we made our second channel Rubber Duck Yellow to do you know, Pokemon stuff specifically, and I can't get no Pokemon cards at the store. They just don't exist right now. Yeah, so I've been keeping them all. Every Pokemon card I got, I keep them, and we'll be making content on that other channel someday when the world's not crazy. All right, the note says, Dallas and Hannah, love your videos. I watch almost every day. I uh, had these Pokemon cards laying around from bulk days and opening new packs. Thought you could do something with them. Might be some good ones. I got the Yu-Gi-Oh! at Value Village just for you to open. LOL. And the keychains and Beyblades came in a big lot of stuff I bought to resell. Hope you guys like it all. Keep digging through that trash. Love you guys, Michael. I'm, I'm especially 
especially excited about those uh, rocket cards and those Pokemon cards. <laughs> Thank you for that, though. I do appreciate it. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon all at once. And Beyblade. And Beyblade. <laughs> it's a good <laughs> get the Beyblade. I've, I've been making a joke every time we do something Beyblade related on the channel that if you see me in public, you gotta challenge me to a Beyblade battle. <laughs> the problem is we drive a smart car and it's hard to keep a big arena in there. I'm gonna take those McDonald's ones with me. <laughs> It'll be better than nothing. Alright, how do we get into this next one? Which is from Tyler. Alright. Protection out. Oh! Oh! Let's go. That's awesome. So cute. Blue eyes. <laughs> it's like a blue eyes white dragon Furby. S super into that. Okay, no. It's a Furby with a blue eyes white dragon card. That's gotcha. awesome. Okay. Uh, hello, Tindo. In your best Saul voice, read this letter. Oh, no. Do you know the Saul voice? Um, it's like that voice changing really low. Thing. Yeah. Just, I, haven't, uh, I haven't seen a Saul movie since 2000. 10 or something. Uh, hello, Dallas. I want to play a game. Uh, in, I want to play a game. In front of you is a gummy bear. You may choose to either eat the bear and save Hannah from the pain of eating the hottest gummy bear. If you do so, you will reap the rewards that lay deeper in the box, which holds something that you can hold near and dear. End scene. Oh my god. Thank you for all the wonderful content you provide every day. We watch all your videos and it's something to look forward to every morning. I also included an extra hot gummy bear that you can use to challenge another YouTuber. All right, well, let's do it. I got to save you hot from the... Hot gummy bear? What did it say? I got to save you. Go find me some water. I'm yep. not... I'm not going to... I'm not going to be that guy that just doesn't have water. Um, I've got to save you from... Eat the bear, save Hannah from the pain of eating the hottest gum. So if I don't eat it, you gotta eat it. And we both know you're no good with hot stuff. I hate hot stuff. I'm down though. Little Nitro, the world's hottest gummy bear. How bad is this gonna be? The world's. Uh, where's the. Uh, where's the rating? Consumer beware. This is not your ordinary gummy bear. From the Flamethrower Candy Company comes the next experience for those who seek the heat. Little Nitro has been infused with our signature 9 million Scoville. It's what? 9 million Scoville. That's super bad, isn't it? Oh, it's going to make the rest of this mail time miserable, yeah. It's bad. Uh, you think it might hurt me? Do you dare this fiery gummy bear? I'm going to do it. First, coat your tongue. First? <laughs> I don't think that's... Look at it. Are you going to do one? I don't think I should. <laughs> probably not. I don't know. I'd probably die. Okay, I also kind of just don't want to touch it. I don't want to get any of that in my eyeballs. God, this is going to suck, isn't it? They they did. They left another one. Do you want to eat regular gummy bears? There's some regular ones. I don't know if I should... I'd trust them. What YouTuber should I challenge to this? Oh... Ivan, he likes spicy stuff. <laughs> oh, well, here we go. Gosh, don't I can't do it. I'm I don't think scared. I've ever, I'll ever eaten anything this hot. <sighs> you already just chug the milk after do it. Oh, it's hot. It's instantly hot. I'm so scared for you. <laughs> I'm a little scared myself. It's getting hotter. Swallowing was bad. Oh, oh no. It's kind of okay once you get it on. You're it's crying. <laughs> Because as soon as it hits your throat, it's bad. You should have just pinched off an ear so I could eat like a little bit. No, you don't want any of this. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Um, if it doesn't get any worse than this, I mean, my eyes are watering. Are you okay? If it doesn't get worse than this, I'm fine. It's hot. But with most hot foods, for me, it's only a problem once it hits the back of the throat. Yeah. I just got past that. I don't want the water to make it worse, though. Sometimes they say it'll make it worse. Yeah. Milk usually helps. Instant help, yeah. Good, okay. It's not, listen, I'm pretty good with hot foods. I mean, it's... Yeah. You're a buffalo-eating champ. <laughs> yeah, I eat a lot of hot wings, so... Um, I'll just drink this. I'm waiting for it to get worse. Hydrate. Let me have some of that. Nice and cold in that metal cup. The only thing that sucks now is my <laughs> tongue is on fire. You think the regular ones will help? Maybe. But what if they're a trick? What if this is like a... I'm dying. It's just my <laughs> tongue. What if this is like a Trojan horse? Oh, no. 
You're about to find out. I don't think it's gonna help. Though, when Gordon Ramsay did his episode of Hot Ones, he had like donuts and sweet stuff to help him transition. Okay. You would know. Let's go. <laughs> now you get the prizes. Okay. Oh, there's more candy. It's not hot though, it's sour. Maybe that'll help. Last week we got snacks in our box too. This is exciting. Go ahead. I mean, <sighs> I'm really glad that you saved me from that and I didn't have to partake. Well, the last weird food thing someone sent us was grasshoppers. That was a lot easier. Furby. Furby. Oh yeah, Furby. He's just dying, just blowing over all of them. Furby. We don't have any in bag, do we? Yeah, no, I don't have any of them in bag. Well, because the ones I found in bag are ones I needed, so I just opened them. McDonald's toy. Any more cases? I think the sour is not mixing well. Probably not. It's making it harder to talk. Game Boy game. Pokemon! Look at my eyes watering. <laughs> You're crying. You got milk in your mustache. <laughs> it's going to be alright, guys. We're going to get through this. <clears throat> it's really just the tongue that'll get you. Pokemon. Very nice. What set is this? Lots of Pokemon cards for today. And then some game informers. Oh, yeah. What? Rats Baby movie. Yeah. I don't know if we have any of these. Game informer. Ooh, I don't have this one. I've got the rest of those, but that one will go straight in my collection. <clears throat> Listen, the intensity's worn off. It's not crazy anymore, but if I swallow, just even just spit just wrong, and it touches the back of my throat, ooh, <laughs> get that out of here. That's the hot. I, that's the hottest thing I've ever had. Uh, I appreciate that Furby drawing too on those Pokemon cards. I'll uh, I'll scan that and add it to my collection of drawings. I already read the note out of here, right? Yes. If I start missing stuff, guys, blame the teddy bear. <laughs> Here, go get me some refills while I open the rest of this. You want more milk? <laughs> more of both, probably. Okay. This next one's from Jamie. <clears throat> See, just now I swallowed. It touched the back of my throat. Not a good experience. I'm going to spend this whole video thinking about this now. I'm not going to remember any of this. Maybe we should just do food challenges for all mail times. All right, here we go. We're gonna dive into this box. Ooh, Goldar Sonic Screwdriver Pokemon. Spoilers. Okay to read on camera. Dear Tendo and Hannah, please find inside a box filled with nonsense that I mostly found in my loft or attic, as you guys might say. I still have not, I've not really been able to go out for charity shops, nor been able to go to boot sales over here in the UK because of lockdown. But hopefully by the time this gets to you, that will have changed. But in the meantime, I've been clearing out some of my old things. And whilst doing so, I thought I should send you some more stuff. I sent you a box in June last year, but unfortunately there is no uh, Herx <laughs> Adventure. That was you. That's awesome. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. This person, um, somehow, you might have to remind us in the comments. They ended up with some very nice American NTSC PlayStation 1 games. <laughs> And they sent them to us, and I was like, wow, these are uncommon. And I, I played one of them immediately, Herc's Adventure. Mm -hmm. It was like a really cool game. And uh, You know, that's but, really funny that we bring that up today, because YouTube auto-suggested that, that video, exact video to video? today. That's weird. <laughs> what a coincidence. But I remember that. They were some really cool games, and I've played them all since, too. Um, I sent you a box. There's a little something yellow that I... Uh, so this is not Herc's adventure, uh, but in here, but this time there's something yellow that I think you'll appreciate. Also, feel free to keep or sell whatever. I'm still watching every day and watching every minute because you two are so. Um, 
I was going to say hot because that's what my mouth is. <laughs> they didn't say that. And like many others, I appreciate the efforts you both go to in order to bring us daily videos. Oh, and congratulations on hitting 10K subs. I have no doubt you'll uh, get that next 10,000 beyond. Do I have milk mustache? Is no, it bad? No, you're good. I feel like I do. You drink uh, milk and water and the water washed off the milk. So. The intensity has <laughs> gone. Now I just feel like I ate a regular hot wing. But now that the heat's kind of, the intensity has gone, I'm feeling a little in my chest. Oh. Like, like not heartburn, but pressure. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I ended my last note with this, so I will again. Keep smashing those hooters. <laughs> That's been a long time since somebody said that. The internet uh, never forgets, although I have probably now confused about 7,000. I have now confused about 7,000. That's true. It was probably 3,000 subscribers. Yeah. You remember that 7,000 subscribers ago that I said it. Well, I don't remember why I said it now, no. I don't remember why. I just remember we were back home in Owensboro trying to do the live show. And we just kind of made it work. And... We did it live on my phone, which yeah. is the only time we did it because it was so bad. It was so hard to do, but we were talking about chicken wings, as I tend to do. So I think I see the yellow thing you were talking about. Gold art. What's funny? You sending this package from the UK? I finally just found this thing. That's so funny. And so you probably sent it before I found it because of how long it takes to get here. I haven't had it very long. That's awesome. That's gold art from Power Rangers, if you don't know. Star Wars book, Young Jedi series. It's one of the only series of Star Wars books I've read all of. Is this some European Beyblade stuff? It is. I, I don't I don't know that I've ever seen this in America. Oh, I remember this. This little figure that stands on top of the base. It doesn't actually do any spinning. Yo-yos. And whoa! And a classic Beyblade and a Dalek. So there's the Dalek. Yo-yo for the yo-yo collection. But look at this. This is interesting. So this is like first, second gen Beyblade, but it doesn't have its stickers. Back in the day, Beyblade came with your own stickers to put on them, and some kids just wouldn't do it. So that's why that one looks naked, in case you didn't know. I need to set that aside to make sure it goes on the Beyblade shelf. I'm starting to feel normal again. Good. <laughs> My stomach feels a little woozy now. Ooh! That's awesome. Now we have the PAL and the NTSC version of that. That's amazing. We only just got the NTSC version. Ooh, Skelly Keychain. Nice! Yes, I actually have a lot of the Minecraft keychains, but I don't have that one. I've got them all, like, bundled together right now. A couple dice. Uh, interchangeable Sonic Screwdriver. And then, okay, these are both interchangeable, so you can, like, mix all these pieces together. Oh, is that what I think it is? These will be the only ones of these I have. Oh, that's so cool. A Monster Rancher training card game. That is super awesome. I've always wanted some just to put on my Monster Rancher shelf because that's a pretty dope background if I do say so myself. Uh, is that, is there more? Okay, there's some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, if you don't know this, there is actually a small difference in print quality from European to American. But what happens a lot, uh, there's not any like noticeable difference like you can still use them if you have them you can use them in tournament play it's it's barely noticeable at all but it's like a, a slightly nicer paper somewhat darker inks on some color tones so i i don't know i'm not actually good enough to notice what it is but i if you watch other yugi yugi tubers open Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh sometimes they'll be like oh this is a shipment from britain because like the overstock people that make the overstock packages that you can get at walmart and stuff yeah they uh they buy a lot of that European stuff, so that's how we still get a bunch of it in America. But that's cool. Some European Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Really, just they're just nicer is what it is. Like Even that print job is just a little smoother than our versions would be. And some Lego cards. And then I've never seen this in my whole life. Is this actually Beyblade branded? It's this tiny little Beyblade. But I don't know if it's just, it's some like neat aftermarket thing, I guess. I don't know. I've just never seen it. And you just shoot it off there. That's really cool. That's super cool. Well, thank you so much for that. Um, it's cool to know. That, that, uh, thank you for including that it was you that sent those PlayStation 1 games. Because they're all still right there on my shelf. They're, uh, they're some really great games. And I can't remember now, though, how you said you came across them. So maybe let us know in the comments. I'm sure some other people would be curious to know. My mouth feels normal. Good. It's not hot at all. But my stomach, right here, it's on fire. Is not having fun. <laughs> All right, I'm very curious about this because it's huge and it's really light. 
Uh, that is interesting. So this is from username Stress Free Paper Chase, which he is a daily commenter, so I definitely know that name. You know, last time we got something huge and light, it was the cheeseburger backpack. So this isn't that. Close your okay. eyes. Okay. Oh, it's. Did you just see that? No. All right, I'm gonna show these guys first. What the heck? Should I read the note first? Probably not. Read it while well, I close my eyes. Well, it's probably gonna say what it is in the note. I'll try to get the note off the box. Let me check. Let me check for spoilers. And I hope you enjoy, and if not, just pass it along. I bought this at a local auction, knowing it would be cheaper than Goodwill. Most auctions are if you know what to look for. Not sure about all the pieces, but I'm sure Tindo can 3D print almost anything. Very true. Take care. Stress-free paper chase. Open your eyes. What? I have no idea what that is. I've never seen this before. Do you have any idea what it just... I've, I've, contents, I've, I've, one main stage, including the DJ booth. It's like a DJ setup for Brad Stalls. That's hilarious. All right, set it up and show inside the box. It all looks wrapped really nice. Wow. It looks it's, like it's never been opened. Yeah. I bet it... That's crazy. Oh. Pull it out of there. 12-year-old Hannah would have been so stoked I to bet. open this at Christmas. That's cool. It is. It's all sealed. That's insane. All right, well, you'll have to. That's so. We'll funny. have to find a reason for you to put it together one of these days. That's cool. We'll. Uh, we we've already said this probably the last ten mail times, but we really really need to get to reorganizing these shelves so there's more room for her brat stuff. Go ahead and set that over there. Uh, thank you very much, though. That's cool. It's like a really cool platform for me to be able to display the brat dolls on. It's so awesome. It, it just astounds me how much brat stuff there is. Yeah. Um, this is from Big Bob. So, get nervous. There's almost always something wearable in Bob's packages. It is becoming a theme, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. This one's especially heavy for its size. All right. Are you ready? No, never. Barnes & Noble bag. Ooh, with things in it. Let's go. Ooh. Zelda. Ooh, I don't have that one. I don't have that one. That's awesome. Unofficial Pokemon guide. For Pokemon Go! Oh! Anna, for you. Sweet! The wearable things that I spoke of. Aww. More wearable things. Yeah, but whose size is it? Definitely your size. Aww. Peanuts. That's all you. It's Abbey Road peanuts. Yokai watch. Are you serious? Wait, what? Okay, I don't think. Uh, I have to look closer. I'm not seeing straight on account of that gummy bear. I don't <laughs> think it's factory sale, but it doesn't matter. Uh, just people will be curious. There's no H seam on it. But there you go, Bratz, the movie Game Boy game. That's in awesome. Box. That's so really cool, cool, yeah. I'll have to get a plastic protector put it in because we have been diehard collecting Game Boy games lately. You can jam in a music session with Yasmin. That's what I'm talking about. SpongeBob VHS. Woo! Pokemon. Thomas. I think it's a carrying case of some sort, yeah. Bruh! Oh my gosh! That's awesome. Season one and season two. Sweet. There you go. Dragon Ball Z keychains. Um, his name's Jiren, right? Comment below if I'm wrong. And then Beerus. Heck yeah, those are awesome. I didn't. I don't think I've seen those. Story Vision. What? I don't know if I know what that is. It's like I guess it's just like a DVD and you can read along with it. Go so ahead. cool. And then a keychain, shield, and an inbox Beyblade, which I'll go ahead and put the Beyblade on the Beyblade shelf. That's awesome. I need like a pegboard for my inbox Beyblade stuff because it's getting to where I have so much of it. Look at this Thomas hat though. It's a cute little beanie. I'm just waiting for my stomach to feel normal. 
You're gonna be sick. It's probably not gonna feel normal till I number two. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, thank you so much, Bob. He's very consistent. Yes. I you have something wearable. I, well, not just wearable, but like he's put beanies in like all of them. <laughs> oh, Bob. I get nervous when I see Bob's name on a, on a package. This next one is from Patrick, California, just down the road. Gah. Okay, we're inside. Woohoo! And let's take a look in together before I open it. Some good bubble wrap. So many boxes! Okay, presents full of presents. Let's start with this one. Okay. And it's taped. Am I gonna have to cut every one of them? Boom! No! Two inbox fireballs. I've got a buddy that's going to be very happy to see these. I'm going to send him pictures immediately. Okay, Hannah, you get into the next one. I'm going to go put these by the rest of my yo-yo. Are the uh, are the colors, are they different types or are they just different colors? The yo-yo? Yes. I think they were both just regular fireballs. Uh, just different colors. Oh, I just picked that up and something came out. What is this? I've never seen this. No! Dragon Ball Z Awakens. These are inbox sealed starter decks for Dragon Ball Z. That's awesome. It's especially awesome since I actually have like, I'd say 60% of every Dragon Ball Z trading card. Like I have so much of the collection. And they actually denote the cards different in starter decks from packages. So if you want to collect everything, you have to get the starter deck versions of things. These are for you. Oh no. And they are very heavy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, there's several of them, isn't there? Is it all Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I appreciate this extra packaging. It is. Well, it looks like I know what I'm doing tonight. I'll be organizing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There's so many. What do you think? Awesome. And this one has Pokemon on the outside. Starter deck, starter deck box, starter box, deck box. That's the word I'm looking for. Look at all this. Ooh, and the good stuff in sleeves. Blue eyes, white dragon. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Some wrestling cards. Very nice. Oh, and a sealed overpower starter deck. This will be Ooh. only the second one of these I have. I have the green one with Rogue on the front of it. That's awesome. I'm just gonna have to make a rubber duck yellow episode out of all this stuff. Oh my goodness, and there's another one in here. You can go ahead and open that. And there's a note and one more box. Let's see what this note says. Hey Dallas and Hannah, this is just a box of randomness from the flea markets and antique fairs that I thought you would enjoy. Thanks for the great content, Pat. P.S. Yo-Yo's doubles from your collection. I feel like you and I have probably had conversations about Yo-Yo's on our Discord or something. Dragon Ball Z, Burger King toys that I haven't seen. More Pokemon cards! Pokemon McDonald's cards. This is awesome. No! That is a Digimon Digivolver. It looks like it's probably a McDonald's. It's a Carl's Jr.'s toy. So Hardy's if you're back east. It's a keychain Digivolver, like not Periscope, but what image viewer. Ooh, I don't remember the name of it, but I know what you're talking about. That's so cool. That's going on the Digimon shelf. Last right. one. One more box for in here. Oh no. <laughs> Are you serious? Whoa. Chaos Impact. I I couldn't find any of this while I was in store. Let's go. I've never seen these. <gasps> Wait. Hold on. We have to do it this way, though. Let's go. You got to turn it sideways so the camera can see it. <laughs> All right. 
Yu-Gi-Oh! DVDs. Which ones, though? Yu-Gi-Oh! The movie. Let's go. Whoa! Whoa! All right. So all I got to do is find the loose game to complete that. I might actually have it. I seriously might. You can put that box back together, can't you? Yeah. I like Skippo. It's a fun game. I love demo discs. I'll add that to the demo disc collection. Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V manga. I have no familiarity with anything from this. This is one of the newer uh, seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! You and I never watched anything past Yu-Gi being yeah. in them. So, that's cool. That's really cool. What is this? No! You know what that is, don't you? Hold that out. Oh, that's so cool! You know what it is? Yeah! I remember that. I have the whole thing. That's really cool. That's the only other one of those I've ever seen. That's dope. That's awesome. Oh, and I always knew there was a blue version, but I didn't have it. That's awesome. Well, now I have red and blue. Super cool. There's some pins in there. And some more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is crazy. Well, I appreciate... Oh, okay, they're fake. Yeah! I love fake cards. That's probably the best one, too. See how they almost have a mirror reflection? The color's all wrong. That's awesome. That'll go in the fake box. Well, thank you so much for all that. Especially that. I was very surprised to see that. Two of four super rare variant cards. If anyone wants to know what eating something that hot is like, for me personally, who is all right with eating hot foods, the hot part doesn't suck so bad if you can get past it not hitting the back of your throat. My, the, my back of the throat area is a little bit sensitive, so if, it, if I don't get it just right, it's bad for me. So I kind of got past that because Hannah got me water and milk. I would have died without it. Yeah. Because it would have touched the back of my throat. I'd have been done. But honestly, five minutes passed. I, my mouth was fine. And even now, my mouth feels perfectly fine. But my stomach is very unhappy. I keep, You see me keep bending over. <laughs> okay. This should be the last one. If we miss something today, I blame the gummy bear. Um, this is from Taylor. And it's covered in Harley Davidson. I don't know if that's going to be indicative of anything inside. I also feel a little bit bad cutting into it. But it says open here. It has arrows pointing to the top. <laughs> it's got a dotted line. And you still... <laughs> All those instructions. Big rip. Okay. <laughs> we'll redo that. I swear I didn't notice the dotted line. <laughs> How do you manage it? It's a superpower Listen, you have. <laughs> I am laser focused right now on getting done with this video because I'm about to die. I shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry. I haven't <laughs> failed an eating challenge yet. Joe sent us freaking crickets. That was gross. I didn't do that one. <laughs> it was gross, but I suffered for the video. <laughs> I'm suffering now. Okay. L literally, years of being on camera, doing camera work, making movies. I know how to finish the video. This is taking every skill I've built over 10 years <laughs> just to get through this. Okay. Read first. I'm going to follow the rest of your instructions, I swear. <sighs> I hope you didn't put any hot gummy bears in here. What if they did? I'm not eating it. Today. I'm not eating it. Tindo and Hannah, hey guys, this is Taylor, Eric, and Vinny here from New York. You guys have sent us stuff before. Is she the tattoo artist? Mm -hmm. Okay. Taste Tats, yes. We wanted to congratulate you guys on 10K subscribers. Vinny loves seeing the confetti cannon, and he drew you guys a few pictures. Oh, we yeah. have packaged up a few more things we thought you'd enjoy. No spoilers, but the first poly bag is for Hannah, and there are two special handmade items at the bottom. My mom made the one that says, Aww. open second to last. Can you remember that? Okay. Uh, and I made the one that says, open last. We really hope you enjoy, and you keep us motivated and entertained every day. Uh, hope to chat on live stream after you guys open this. Keep up the good work, and until next time, peace out. <laughs> Taylor, Eric, and Vinny. Okay. Drawings first. Drawings first. Boom! Oh. Pikachu. Electro Buzz. Charmander. That's the, that's the Mega Electro Buzz. Is it? Uh, what's the other one that's not Electro oh, Buzz? I don't, I don't remember, remember his name. name. Vinny, cool. what's its name? <laughs> that's awesome. I will scan oh. that in. I serious, I'm serious, I say this every time, but I, all the drawings people send us, I mean, I put a lot of them on the fridge, but I scan them all in and make, like, high-res versions of them. Ooh. Okay, it's just protection. But it's a very, Yay. very usable... Are those hot? Oh my god, are you kidding? No! I think I'll have to do this one. You won't do it. 
I'm not doing it. Sorry. Okay. But I've done enough. What are the odds? Are you going to eat? Well, they're not like nine oh, I, minutes. I thought they're going to be just, fine. They're just spicy. <laughs> what is the? What are the chances? What are the odds? They're going to be watching this and then watching the beginning of the video and go, are you kidding me? I oh, they smell good. Eat one. Give us an official review. A little, uh, that little, uh, cinnamon sugar on top is actually quite, quite pretty. All right, get in the mic. Mukbang it. It's You're so tall. little. <laughs> You're... I hear no noises. How hot is it? <laughs> It's not hot at all. Not hot at all. I'm still not eating one. Okay. It's actually a better peep than real peeps. <laughs> so, I believe this is some knockoff Beyblade stuff that I've never seen. But it's like, I, I think last week someone sent us some... That was good. There's tiers of knockoff Beyblade, yeah. right? There's the super low, which is what's in my gumball machine back here. And then there's the kind of playable, a little bit heavy, some metal, not all plastic. But this looks like the top tier stuff. This might actually be another brand of top battling stuff that maybe is popular in Japan or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, rapid, rep, Rapidity? Rapidity? Top plate? WBBA.OfficialBladers.Box is a website. Made in China. That's really cool. Well, I don't want to open it. Well, actually, I am curious what's inside. I love that it. I love that it comes in this awesome box. Ooh. Okay. You know what's funny about this? This is I have these launchers. Oh really? So this must be popular enough. Yeah. Well, it looks like good knockoffs, you know. It looks like a knockoff that's so good because they probably close down the Chinese factory after hours and make the knockoffs for. <laughs> That's a real thing that happens. Yeah. In Shenzhen and stuff like that. That's really cool. That will be going on the Beyblade shelf, but I do have to make room for it. I'm going to put it back together backwards. Okay. Now there are some edible things in here I can definitely eat, though not right now. I've been craving some Reese's lately. You know, Into the best. I, I like everyone else. You know, I get got when I'm in the checkout line. Like, we were at Target today, and there was some, uh, I was looking at the Reese's. Exactly. This. So, we'll put those in the fridge, and I'll eat them when they're cold. Okay, make sure these aren't the ones that are labeled. You saw that, didn't you? I did. Pull them out. Show us what you got. All right. I only feel okay if I bend over. What is that? Is there any? Are there any medical professionals watching? What does that mean? Here, show the top down. The formal funk Jasmine. Jade. Jade, Jade and Yasmin put together makes Jasmine Jade. <laughs> Very nice. There's another. Is this the Sasha? I've heard you talk about the formal fashion once. <laughs> It's the Sasha! Okay, so I think the last three mail times, I've gotten pieces of this one. Really? But not... I might have it complete now. That's awesome. Oh, that's exciting! We gotta make a Bratz update video. We need to make a collection update video, because so many people are asking to actually see our Game Informer collection, because we did a trade-in with our spares, and people... I keep teasing actually talking about it. So we need to make a whole video one of these days just showing off, not like a game room tour. We have that. Matter of fact, go to our page. There's a whole playlist list of game room tours. But we need to make a video where you show your Bratz dolls. I show some of the very specific pants. Don't eat the tape off the box. Go ahead. This is actually the Formal Funk um, Chloe doll, but this isn't the Formal Funk dress. I'm trying to figure out if it's actually branded or if someone's mom made this. Oh, you think it's a handmade dress? I, the decals in the front make me think not, but like, it's it's really well done if it is. You want in pants? <laughs> He's like, no. You see anything? Here, look, pants. Oh. Oh, baby, I just look, found them. It's a pant-sized drum. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> oh my god! What is that? Is that Catwoman? I don't know, but she's dope. This is a Megan doll. That is. I don't know what collection this is from. Uh, there's a lot of them that, like, like the drum says, are from the Rock Angels collection. I'm not there's saying quite a few. I'm not saying I'm attracted to a doll, but that's hot. It that's is hot. A, it's a hot fit. <laughs> <laughs> that's dope. All right, last one. Sensor. This is actually Formal Funk Dana. Really? Oh my gosh! I've got. Ah, do I have the Yasmin one? I was like, I've got almost the entire collection of that now. That's so exciting. That's great. Is that a helmet? Is that this a brat's is helmet? Awesome. 
We'll, uh, well, those are attached. We'll pick someone else. You want it here, Pants? Don't eat the tape, buddy. He's going to ah! eat the tape. That's amazing. <laughs> Pants is only here for the tape. You've walked in the tape now. He's eating the tape. All right, well. Go ahead. I guess you do your thing. We'll do ours. Uh, he's not going to show up on this camera, though, is he? You're hidden. All right, well, Mortal Kombat VHS, that's very timely. I've never been so tempted to collect Mortal Kombat stuff. I know. The movie came out. I found a quite, actually, valuable soundtrack from the original movie. Here's the original movie on VHS. Some months ago, and I've still got them in the other room, someone sent me the nicest Mortal Kombat figures I've ever seen. Last mail time, someone sent me this whole bag full of uh, Mortal Kombat buttons and keychains from the original movie. Pants. He's a little monster. You're a distraction is what you are. It's a little tape monster. Okay, can I finish, or what do you think? Should we keep going? He's good. Okay, he seems all right. Okay, bye. <laughs> all right, more demo discs. P.S. What are the chances of that? Are you kidding? Are you guys <gasps> talking to each other what? or something? Dark Cloud 2 demo disc, which is awesome. I don't have many of these tall PlayStation 2 demo discs. So I've got a lot of those PS1 ones. Um, I all of a sudden have five copies of this. Uh... <laughs> Burger King disc, Wolverine. No. Inuyasha TV series part four. Okay, so it's just part of it. Well, there's 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 more. That's this awesome. This is the movie. This is one of the movies. Have we ever watched Inuyasha together? No. I watched it. I found the whole entire series, top to bottom, and at a. I don't remember actually now if it was a Goodwill that I found it in or if it was. Um, I don't know, but my first apartment I ever had, 19 years old, I watched all of Inuyasha on a giant CRT that I found in the trash. Perfect. Doesn't really sound much different than my life now, does Mommy. it? There's a lot of video games in here. Uh, Road Blasters, don't have. Kung Fu, Top Gun, Baseball, and this, this is the one that's like, you can't tell what the game's called. It's I think it's literally just like Major League Baseball. I always have a hard time looking it up. Empty case for Jurassic Park. Very nice. I will put that in the empty case box. Soccer. Complete. Ooh, these are going in the collection. Baby Afterburner. Yes. NBA Jam. No. Shadow of the Beast. That's one I definitely don't have. That's awesome. Set those down over there. And what is this? Somebody comment below. Uh, what? Oh, interesting. Okay, well, it's something Beyblade. And I honest to God have no idea what it is. It's some sort of spinning mechanism. It might be some launcher for some... I've never seen that. More games. PGA Tour. Uh, if you have enough games, something. PlayStation Demo Disc. Very nice. PlayStation 3 System Care Software. CD game, test drop, whoa. Le Mans, NT, it is NTSC, it just looked a little funny, didn't it? That's awesome. Empty case, spore creatures. What the heck, there's so much more, is this, <laughs> is that, it's bath foam and shampoo, I'm gonna use it. Not even, now I'm gonna put it on my Power Rangers stuff, I guess. Kids care, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, bath foam and shampoo. That's hilarious. That might be, it's at the top of the list of the coolest Power Rangers stuff so anyone sent me. It gets weird. People know that I collect Power Rangers and like to collect it. And there's a whole bunch of Power Rangers stuff there. There's some Power Rangers stuff in this bag too. But I've got just some weird Power Rangers stuff. It's crazy how much stuff has been branded with Power Rangers is what I'm trying to say. I think the weirdest thing on your Power Ranger shelf is a fishing lure. Yeah, yeah. No, that's it's totally. a bob a, a bobber? Bob uh, I don't know. I actually remember um, which it is. It's by Yellow Ranger. You're totally right. That uh, shampoo is probably up there with this fishing bobber, White Ranger fishing bobber. I remember when you bought that, you bought like three of them, and you were like, I need these. I was like, why? I don't understand. And you're like, I just need I it. I have to have it. I put it in my collection. All right, this is awesome. That's definitely going to go over there on her. Is it? Is it one of the real ones? Yeah, Tamagotchi. What? It's one of the connections ones. So we didn't know near as much about Tamagotchi as we do now. Um, there's a whole line of the connections ones. So, so cool. several Beyblade launchers and two Imagine X Power Rangers. And cool. 
Yeah, I don't have this black one. Yeah, so I, was like, I don't think you've got the black one, but I, I only have the blue one. They come in two. Well, I've got both, but they come in two different versions, with uh, and without chest plates. So I don't have the not chest plate ones. And uh, it's your boy Raichu. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's just a, like a ceramic. Oh, it's, oh, a, it's wait. a magnet. Oh, it is. Okay, I thought it was the lid for That's something. So great. Good, good spotting. It's a cat in a mug, not just a cat mug. <laughs> My, uh, I, I've said this a lot on mail times because you guys keep sending me yo-yos. I'm not trying to be a diehard yo-yo collector, but they're kind of like fidget spinners. And that they're just a fidgety thing that I have to pick up when I'm at the bins. It's a weird mental thing, probably because of my grandfather who collected them. But like, I, if he were alive, I think he'd be tickled how many in-box, in-package, nice yo-yos I have. Because yeah. he, he had these giant whisk, wicker baskets full of yo-yos that he got at yard sales for 10 cents for a dime. And, you know, they weren't not nice. It was just a lot of them were cheap and toys. I think you'd be real tickled to see all these nice ones I had. So, thanks for making that happen. Woo! <gasps> I don't recognize that tin. Um, because uh. we don't have it. We literally have... Did you know when you sent this? We've even got doubles of a lot of them. I don't know. I don't think I... I maybe I have the watch and it's broken. But look. Patrick... Spongebob 1, Spongebob 2, Squidward, and Plankton. I'm pretty sure that's the whole set. You just completed our set. Well, the, the checklist is inside of it. Yeah, there's five of them, right? Here. Yeah, there's five total. We got them! And we got doubles of a lot of them. I actually have, I have a whole set hanging up on display. And then I have some doubles in the cases. That's really awesome. That's so funny that the one we needed was just the regular Spongebob one. Well, I've been slowly replacing the batteries in them because they're all dead. Because they're all like 20 years old. Um, I've actually been wearing them because they fit my giant wrists. Okay, open second to last. No okay. big scissors. Not big scissors safe. That's the one from Mom. Yes. Okay, but there's a couple more things in here, I guess. Let's go through those real quick. What? What? Hercules. Xena. Hercules. And... Russian attack. That's another game I don't have. Well, my NES collection just got a lot bigger. Okay. Just making sure that I don't miss anything. Hannah, you're hooked up with some extra packaging this week, too. I know, right? That's exciting. Alright, so who did she say who opened what? I think we just need to open them in this order. Doesn't matter who. Okay, go ahead. Open because that one. Mom made this one. No big scissors. No big scissors. It's soft. I'm very curious. Hold on, before you pull it out. Last time Taylor and the gang sent a package, it was it was like some custom stickers she had designed and stuff like that. So she's she they are very creative people, so And she also said all the the SpongeBob stuff. So it's fitting that she completed the watch collection. Yeah. She did know, that's why she knew. Okay. Oh. oh my god. It's a Furby hat. It's a. Ah! <laughs> it's giant for your giant head. Oh my god. Ah. This hurts worse than the ah. teddy bear. Oh, it's hysterical and amazing. I, I cried once because of the teddy bear. Now I'm going to cry because of the. <laughs> oh my goodness you're crying listen on the same day yesterday as of shooting this it'll be a couple days ago by the time you're watching this retro rick pixel game squad squad riff both were at like flea markets separate episodes nothing to do with each other didn't talk to each other about it and they were like furby's ha tindo would like that <laughs> and i texted rick and told him that because he, he had texted me and said, he, yeah, we were chatting about his video. And I was like, complete coincidence. Riff said something too. And I told him, I was like, I guess if you're going to be known for something, as far as things to be known for, Furby's not that bad. It's Furby's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, how did you know how big my head was? That's what she I'm concerned She just probably about. made it as big as she possibly could. Honey, go get the five-gallon bucket. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to measure it. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. So wait, your mom made this. You... Solicited your mom to make me... Okay. I'm not going to wrap my head around that for a little while. Oh, that's so good. You want to open this one? Or... Sure. Go ahead. 
I'm not sure I can handle it. <laughs> You've had a big day. I don't know if I can handle it either. This glue is something else. <laughs> she said she made this one. Okay. That's... Oh, it's a picture frame? Yeah, I kind of got that feeling. It's. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's me cringing using the scissors, trying to cut the okay. Furby tag. Look, we just gotta go all the way through it. Okay, top of <laughs> tank corner. We'll, I'm gonna give you guys a good view. Tamagotchi, Mario, smart car, Waldo found him. <laughs> Hannah's cutting the tag off the Furby. Shame on you. Oh Brat's hoodie. Thread, needle, Minecraft sword, Furby, Nerf, <laughs> ya boy, beer gut, you've got perfectly the, accurate. You've got the Pokeball attached to your, your hip. That's a very specific detail. It is. Pikachu in my pocket, Green Ranger dagger, our newest merch, Charizard on my shoulder. I'm trying not to miss anything here. Momo's on the hoverboard! Brat shoe. Bread truck shooting flames. Is Pants in the Pyrex bowl with me? <laughs> Let Listen, that's exactly how he lays in my arms. <laughs> I didn't put two and two together. You were in the Pyrex bowl. Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Puzzle. SpongeBob reporting our sketchy asses. <laughs> Color block shorts. Game Boy. What is this? Oh, it's a dice. It's a quarter machine dice. Oh, it's funny. I bet I missed some other little stuff. Because it's also like... Oh, it's a Nightmare Before Christmas duck. Where? On the Pyrex Bowl. Oh, yeah, it is. It's a rubber two, duck, a, but the Nightmare Before Christmas Two in one. one. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you guys so much, all of you. Um, Where are we going to put that? We have to, we have to put that on our wall. Yeah. I might just sleep with it. <laughs> just put it under the pillow. I don't know how to wrap this video up now. <laughs> you want to try a hot tamale I'm, yeah, I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to everybody in my contacts list. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm... I haven't talked to you in 10 years, but here's a picture of you me. You have to see this, though. <laughs> it's so dope. And you got the glasses right. Oh, my gosh. You got Momo's timidness right. <laughs> yeah. Can I use this? Can I use this as like a, uh, like our stream intro or something? I think that's what I what we should do with it. Like, this should pop up while everyone's waiting for our stream to start. Or something like this has to be looked at. It's so good. Well, thank you so much. Um, tell your mom I said thank you. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever made me anything so cool. I love the beak. I want to put my finger in the beak. Don't touch it. <laughs> It's so dope. I mean, I'm, I'm going to wear it when the time's appropriate, but I'll have to figure out a way to display it. I'll have to get a five-gallon bucket <laughs> to put it on. Eat a Pyrex bowl. It's I'm so shape. stressed out. I need, like, meditation or something. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with us today. Um, hit the subscribe button so we can keep doing this, because I don't know what else I'm going to do in life after this. I've <laughs> peaked, clearly, so subscribe so I can keep doing it, because you're going to oh. save my life, because there's nothing else for me to do now. Um... Thanks for hanging out with us. Hit the subscribe button. Help us get to... What are we all? We're like halfway to 15,000 subs. Uh, so, halfway from 10 to 15-ish. I don't know. Help us help us get there. Uh, click the video in front of Hannah's face. Check out uh, the Minecraft video we just posted. It's dumb. It's the dumbest thing we've ever made. But it's funny, <laughs> so click it. Video below that. Watch us play some Super Smash. Down here in this corner, that'll help you get subscribed if you're not already. So, until next time, guys. Peace out. <laughs>